Overpopulation is a massive problem in today's world. Overpopulation is growing at a massively exponential rate with no work being done to stop it. In first world countries such as the United States, Japan, and Australia, overpopulation has spiraled completely out of control. Although many people think that overpopulation isn't a serious matter, it's vital to consider in order to preserve the American way of life. We need to address the problem, find a solution, and start enforcing that solution. Oh hey there, human overpopulation is among the most pressing issues today. Estimates reach between 8 to 11 billion people by 2050. And up to 15 billion by 2100. Human population is growing at approximately 78 million people per year, with 7 billion people already living on the planet. Moderate estimates currently suggest that at our current rate of growth, we'll need the equivalent of two Earths worth of resources to support us. There are many causes of overpopulation. One cause of overpopulation are the advances in healthcare. Improvements in healthcare technology decreases the death rate and increases lifespan, which tends to uh, increase the population. While these improvements are positive for the general um, quality of life for the population, it will eventually lead to a, an unsustainable case in which the population exceeds its carrying capacity. One of the other issues is that um, people from less developed nations move to more developed nations such as the United States and Canada and they get better health care and increased job opportunities, which again isn't an inherently bad thing, in fact it's actually a positive thing, but that also means that their lifespan increases and they're probably more willing to have more children, which will again lead to an unsustainable situation. Another cause would be poverty and lack of family planning. One of the issues is that the government gives tax breaks depending on how many kids you have. This isn't necessarily a bad thing because it makes intuitive sense. The more children you have, the more money you have to spend, but it also somewhat incentivizes having children. Every day, an estimate of 360,000 babies are born. 250 babies each minute. Roughly 151,600 people die each day. This birth and death rate are different, which causes the issue called overpopulation. Overpopulation has a number of negative effects, including pollution. Another issue is degradation of our environment. With the overuse of coal, natural gases, and oil, that start producing serious effects on our planet. Rise in the number of vehicles and industries that badly affected the quality of air. Rising amount of CO2 emissions leads to global warming. Melting of polar ice caps, changing climate patterns, rising sea level are a few of the con consequences that we might have to face due to environmental pollution. There's not enough jobs and a lack of space. Oh, really? Also, humans naturally respire, most of us, um, and so we take in oxygen and release CO2, which also contributes to that problem. There are many solutions to the problem of overpopulation, one of which being informing people of the causes of overpopulation and the effects of it.
Do you think overpopulation is a problem in today's or the future society? No. Why do you think that? Because we make two times the amount of resources that we actually need and not all the land is being used so far. Wow, that is amazing. Hey kid, are you lost? Yeah. Oh, can I ask you a few questions about overpopulation for my documentary? Yeah, sure. Since you're like little and everything, right? Do you think overpopulation will be a problem when you're gonna grow up and be in like high school and stuff like that? Uh, no. One solution would be limiting the amount of children that families can have. If we limit the amount of children a family can have, the birth and death rate could eventually balance out. Our main solution would be colonizing Mars. SpaceX is a private company founded in 2002 by CEO and lead designer Elon Musk, aka Tesla owner. The first SpaceX mission plans to send two cargo ships to Mars in 2022. If that proves successful, SpaceX will add two more cargo ships and two cruise ships in 2024. Every two years, there's a perfect opportunity to fly to Mars because the Earth alone is the first mission will probably be one to locate a good source of solid water that we can turn into liquid water, which would be drinkable for humans. Because you can't drink solid water oh and as, as much as you might try. The second mission will be to build propellant plants and solar panels and make things to mine and refine water, and also to create and store CH4 and O2. Eventually, they'll probably land ships that um, land separately, not together, and start with one, and then it will dot others around, and people will be able to move from complex to complex uh, using some kind of like space suit or something. Um, and, um, and it'll eventually turn into something of a city with larger and larger complexes, and maybe even citizens will be able to move into it um, that aren't affiliated with space at this point. Overpopulation has become a prevalent problem in today's world because of lack of family planning, advancements in healthcare, and decline in death rate. With more and more people putting a strain on the planet already, limited supply of resource measures must be taken to slow the growth of the population. 